you're going to love today's writing prompt but first get away from that writing desk and get out of the house with your notebook. Thank you for joining me for Freedom Friday. Before I talk about finding in writing inspiration whilst you're out and about, let me first ask you to hit that subscribe button for me. Not only will you make my day, but you'll also be telling YouTube to show more of my videos to other writers. It can be difficult to make the effort to get yourself out with the sole aim of finding new writing inspiration. But once you're out there, you never know when it's going to find you or when you're going to find it. Without regularly filling our creative wells, we are at risk of drying up as writers. Last week, you may recall, I gave you a task that involved writing from the point of an, in, an, an inanimate object, a tree. I've linked to that video at the end of this one. And today's video is along similar lines, giving a voice to the voiceless. Albeit this time, it won't be an inanimate thing. And this week, you're going to give a voice to an animal. You may particularly love this if you enjoy writing for children. This could be your own animal, but it might be more interesting if you choose an animal you don't know. Obviously, animals don't think in the same way we do, but I've often wondered what if they did? What would the horse on its own in a field have to say? The dog tied up outside a shop or the ewe who's just had her lamb removed? So start by choosing your animal and then posing the following questions. What and where is the animal? Describe its appearance and possible age. What do you know of its life expectancy? What kind of life might it have had so far? Who might be part of its life, other animals and people? What's its favourite thing? What's its least favourite thing? If it could speak for one minute, what would it say? Then make a list of 15 words associated with the animal you've chosen. Choose the best five and make sure you include them in your story or poem. Start with the words, if only, and see where they take you. Let me know which animal you choose in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more inspirational writing prompts. Until next time, happy writing and bye for now.